Hey folks, the RV Doctor here with another RV Doctor tip for you. This one on an automatic DSI water heater. I want to show you something. Take a look right here. Uh, on this particular unit, the gas comes in through the gas valve, through this little brass fitting, which is the orifice, and then it goes into this silver colored U-tube, we call it, and there it draws in primary air. As the gas comes through the valve, through the orifice, it sucks in air through these little slots that you see in this aluminum tube. On this particular water heater, these, this air opening is, is, is quite large. In fact, it's way too large. So we want to close this opening off. All water heaters will have an adjustment here. You loosen the locking screw and you can slide this air adjustment. Notice as I slide that, it creates less of a slot for the air to be drawn into. The preliminary setting on this particular device is you want that setting about one quarter of the way open. So if that's full open, you want to go about one quarter of the way open and then snug down the locking screw and then that's the preliminary step right there. Now we have to fire up the water heater to check the main adjustment and make a finite adjustment out here at that same location but now we have to do it with the burner lit. So I'm going to go turn on the water heater switch inside and we'll come out and take a look at this. Okay now we have the main flame lit and you can hear the roar of the fire right now and as you notice it's a nice blue color so we're pretty close to our adjustment of where we should be, but to just to be sure, I'm going to loosen this locking screw one more time and then play with my adjustment a bit just to give it a little more air. You notice as I give it more air, it gets louder and it starts kicking out. That's too much air. It's, an under, it's a very lean mixture, so we want to close this back, but if we close it too far, the flame becomes lazy and it does not have that intensity enough to heat the water in this burner. So I'm going to back it out just a little bit till we get a little bit of a roar, not too much, tighten down the locking screw. Now that's where we want to be and the surefire way to go ahead and tell is to close the door and basically you want to walk away five feet away and you should not hear the roar of the fire from about five to six, seven feet away. So let's try that. Well the water heater is working properly so this customer is good to go.